Hi, my name is Phil Hart. I was diagnosed with Huntington's disease, a devastating degenerative brain disorder, in March of 1997. Also in that same year, in November, I was forced to quit work because of problems with balance, movements, and cognitive functioning. Now, in 1997, I had an MRI done of my brain. And as you take a look at this MRI, you'll see that there is virtually no degeneration. The caudate nucleus is very thin. You'll see that there is no cell death that is occurring yet, even though I was recently diagnosed. And to be truthful with you, I shouldn't be sitting here today talking with you about this because all of the others who were diagnosed at the same time that I was with Huntington's disease are already dead or are in the last stages of Huntington's disease in nursing homes. Now, in 2001, November, I started live cell therapy with Dr. Wolfram Kunau in Tijuana, Mexico. And since Dr. Kunau's passing, I have been taking monthly injections from Dr. Luis Velasquez. I attribute this to my good health right now, and I know that this has helped me uh, to not show very many symptoms even 10 years after my initial diagnosis. In 2007, I had another MRI done of my brain. And as you'll look at this MRI, you'll notice that it looks almost exactly like my MRI of 1997. This is incredible because 10 years into this degenerative brain disorder, there should be tremendous atrophy because of cell death in this caudate nucleus and it should look very very fat now and as you'll notice it looks still very very skinny and we're also going to show you a picture of someone who has Huntington's disease and how their caudate nucleus looks and if you'll notice on theirs that butterfly shape of the caudate nucleus is indeed very very large because of the atrophy caused by the cell death. Now. In 2007, I also had a medical examination by the same doctor who had examined me in 1997 when I participated in the Pharos clinical research trial through the Huntington study group. Um, this doctor performed a physical examination on me and also examined and compared my 1997 MRI to my 2007 MRI and was flabbergasted because he could see no degeneration and he didn't know what to attribute this to. So, but I know and I can tell you that I am for sure that it's because of the live cell therapy that I am here speaking to you today instead of in a hospital bed somewhere ready to die.